Right, a little bit more video, everyone. Hinkley Point over there. Like I say, it's going to expand. They're going to be allowed to develop it. Um, lots of beautiful trees. Look over there. Don't know if I've walked in that lot or not. Some people behind me, they have sort of held back a bit to have something to eat, I think. They've just started off now. There's a big group in front of me as well. So I just do a little video while I can to capture this moment walking down here, folks. My well, knee's not too bad. I'm taking it steady. And this bit is quite nice. It's, um, it's still a bit bumpy. So I apologise for any movement. I, I am taking the odd picture with the Kodak. But I thought I'd do a bit of video with this one now. The first half of the walk was the Kodak. I've got no idea how it'll be with the video section. So it's not really a video camera as such for on the move, if you know what I mean. Not unless you had something rigid to hold it still. And they're lovely, those trees over there, though. I've got a feeling I have been in there. I think there's a place you can park your car near the uh, A39. Yeah, there's a big group. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six people and a dog ahead of me. They're all walking nice and steady. There is a place you can turn off in a minute and go get down onto Hodder's Coombe easier. Um, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go up the hill and uh, I'll find another way of joining Holford Coombe, I should say. Holford Coombe, not Hodder's. I'll be doing Hodder's after Holford. Yeah, it could be quite a late day today. Uh, normally I've been getting buses about four past and getting a quarter past five train from Taunton. But today I think it's going to be a bit later because I don't... It's a nice day. There are plenty of buses. And there's no reason to think you've got to make the four o'clock. Um, I mean, in the winter, yeah, because it gets dark. You couldn't be out here later. I've got a nice fat pasty waiting for when I get home. That's nice. Don't have to worry about what I'm going to have. A bit, little bit of Prosecco and a little bit of rosé wine. And then um, I'll probably go out with Zara for a walk with the dog tomorrow. We only go in the park because Ma Maggie's like 90 odd um, in dog years now. And... Um, she can just about manage the park, bless her. She's doing very well, that dog. She's very alert, very lively. She loves to play still. Her eyes are bright, her nose is nice and shiny. She feels so safe with me and Zara. Bless her little socks. Things in the world, well, Putin's starting to threaten us with bloody nuclear weapons now. He said it'll take 15 minutes to destroy London. He said you'll only get 15 minutes warning and that's too late to do anything. That's how he was talking. Apparently. Now, this is a meeting place. In the past, a long time ago, I came from that route there. I came, I came down that route to, from Nether Stowey over there. And if you go this way, you see the feather. You see, you've got the feather. You've got the Wordsworth feather there. If you go down there, that will take you down into Holford Coombe. I ought to do it, really. Rather than go up here. I'm tempted. I haven't actually done it before. Um, I am tempted to do it. Um rather than go up there. Now I'll go up here, I'll go up here. I said, no I'm not, I'm gonna go, I think I'll go down, no, I think I'll go down here. I'll try it, I haven't done it before, so let's do something different. 
Let's do something different. Yeah, let's go down here. Probably end up over there where I don't want to be. That's the only problem. All I know when you get up there, it's not that straightforward really to get down in the comb. That's what I remember about it. I've even ended up in thick bracken and gorse before now, trying to find my way down. Now we'll do this. We'll go down here. Might be a mistake, who knows. That's lovely scenery though, isn't it? Lovely scenery. There's the hill fort back up there, look. That's the hill fort. Yeah, do something different. You've never done this before. I like exploring. I've done that several times that way. I know there is a way of getting down, but um, no, I'll do this. I'll do this. I don't mind. We're going down to Holford Coombe. Over and out a minute. Right, folks, I've come back on because I've decided that was going far too far that way. Now I'm being followed by somebody. <sighs> yeah, that was going down towards uh, Ladies Coombe. This will probably join up where that bloody track is. I've just come off, won't it? But you only think it will. And I've got someone behind me now. I've just shaken off one knot. Don't know if they're coming this way. Well, this is it. Look at that. Look at that glorious scene, everyone. Isn't that glorious? Got it, there's a track that turns off soon. Now this is, I know what's going to happen. This is going to join up with that big track that I've just come off. Hey, look. Some sort of vehicle right at the top there. There's the car. There's the Dowsborough Hill Fort. Holford Coombe down there. Over that ridge, we've got um, Higher Hair Nap right up there. Over the other side, we've got Hodder's Coombe. We've got the Fords. That's where all the streams meet. Then we go up Shepherd's Coombe to Bicknor Post. Still quite a big hike I've got to do. I've got to try and fit all this in. It, I knew it was going to be big. That's why I gave myself two extra hours. Now those people have all disappeared. I don't know where they've gone. 
there might be other ways. But I think I have to wait till I get in the wood. I can't really remember, to tell the truth. It's different when you do it in reverse. So, Holford will be further up over the other side of that wood. That'll be Holford. And we've got to allow ourselves two hours from Holford back. At least two hours. So, there could be some pacing for that part of the walk. Because I have given myself quite a big walk today. I mean, the first four hours, where on earth did they go? But there was a lot of uphill. That first part of the walk was really odd. So if you get over there, you can climb up over, go over to Lower Hair Nap and go back that way. And you can avoid Holford altogether. Do you know what I mean? Holford can be avoided. I'm going to check the time in a minute. People are still going down. And people are very slow. Those people were behind me earlier. I don't know why they're taking so long now. I don't know why they're taking so long. Don't expect they expected to see me behind them. The camera, I'm very pleased with Sony. Even if it don't do any more now. Because well, I've done Holford loads of times. So... It's doing really well, and it is on. It is still. It is still videoing. Once it gets going, and the battery is lasting so much more longer than the Kodak doesn't seem to last very long at all. Look at that scene, though, folks. Look at that scene. I've got to get down in that coom somehow. I did a bit of a extra bit about there I needn't have done. I thought it was going to take me down. Another bit would have taken me down, but I was actually going back towards the, the hill fort. And I didn't want to do that. I didn't particularly want to walk up Holford Coombe either. Not really. Not all of it. Because I've got um, Hodder's Coombe to do. It was a bit bumpy, folks. i just show you the terrain. It's, it's very, lots of loose, bumpy stone here. I'm going to turn off again now, take some pictures.